Uh, the biggest challenges for central banks going forward is how to exit this unconventional monetary policies. We've seen now zero interest rate policies, negative interest rate policies, quantitative easing, credit easing, for our guidance. And now there is even talk about even more unconventional monetary policies, things like helicopter drop of money, taxing cash so that you can go more negative, capping long bond rates like in Japan and so on. So the question mark is, can we exit these unconventional monetary policies or are we going to go in the direction of even more unconventional monetary policies? Well, central banks have to be responsive and responsible. And in a world in which uh, fiscal policy was constrained and a world in which uh, structural reforms occur only slowly, unfortunately, central banks and monetary policy became the only game in town as a way of trying to boost economic growth and trying to avoid uh, deflation and a spiral of deflation uh, ongoing. But it's obvious that there are limits to what monetary policy can do and therefore the baton has to be passed over time from monetary policy to fiscal policy and to structural policy. So in some sense central banks have been asked to do too much and have too much leadership and they have now to pass the baton of policy to other policies.